Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selectors Up. Welcome back. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you are new here so that you don't miss any such conceptual video and upcoming updates on the Selectors Up and Desk Case Studio. Great, thank you. So how to write the X path for odd or even rows of the table and in fact from a particular position if you want the rows of a table, how can we write these, uh, this kind of X path to get a particular number of rows? like odd, get all the odd rows of the table, get even rows of the table. So this is actually uh, asked by one of the, this question is being asked by one of our uh, subscriber, Umang, really thankful uh, to him that he asked such question and uh, it will, then I thought like it's really required and it's a good concept. So uh, it is uh, good that I created a tutorial so that everyone will learn from it. So the question was like, how can I create X path for picking or selecting only the odd or even index elements from a list of elements? So if we have a list of elements and we just want to pick the odd or even, then how can we pick those or from a particular position as well? So let's see how can we do that. So here I'm sure like uh, you guys have must, must have seen this uh, page, X path practice page, which has all uh, complex scenarios related to automation X path to practice. So you guys can use this page to practice automation X path and you will find most complex and rare scenarios here. Okay. So here, suppose, uh, we want to get the, uh, rows, which are at odd places first, like here, first row is this, this is a header. Okay. Then this is the first row. This is second, third, four, five, six. Six rows are there. Suppose we want just one, two, three. Okay. So like we want the first row, then third row, and then fifth row we want. So how can we write the X path for uh, such kind of situation, such kind of scenario? So let's see, we'll inspect this element. Open selectors up here. Let me just zoom in. Uh, this is better yeah so if we write the x path like for all the rows in this table here so this is the table okay now we have written x path for table let me write with id if id is available we always go with that and then we want for all the rows so if we write here tr this will even consider the table header row so we don't want the header right we always like if you are talking about the rows then we'll start from here the t body so before tr we will add this t body <laughs> and then we will add the tr okay so we got all the rows of the table now here suppose uh like our requirement is that we want only these rows like first row third row and fifth row if we wanted like first row only, then we could have just used the position is equal to something like this, that one. So it will give us the first row. But here our requirement is that we want <coughs> only, I mean, we want all the odd number of rows. So there is a function, there's a keyword in uh, X path, which we can use to get all the odd rows. So the keyword is, and the syntax is, let me show you is that you can use this kind of formula, this formula that position mod two is equal to one. So this means that give us all the odd rows in this, uh, from this table. So here we can use mod two is equal to one. And now if you hit enter, it will select all the odd rows in this table. So you see it is giving the first row, third row and fifth row. So this way we can get all the odd number of rows. <coughs> now, sorry. Now you can ask, uh, your requirement could be that we want only the even rows. How can we add, get the even rows? So you can just make this not equal. Two is not equal to one. Then it will give the even number of rows. So even number of rows are second, fourth, and sixth. So this is how we can get the odd number of element uh, means elements which are at the odd position or which are at the even position 
this is the example which i'm giving through table so it will be easy to understand if you have like normally if you have written like you have written uh, get me all the links in this page so let me just copy this delete this double forward slash a there are uh, 63 elements in this page 63 links in this page now we want all the links which are at the even position then you can hit enter now it will give you that all the links which are at the even position so uh, so similarly like here uh, we were talking about the table thing here so we can uh, write x path for the table to get all the rows so in whichever situation whatever you want like uh, you want odd or even number of uh, rows that way you can take a, uh, use this position mode keyword and then uh, pass the two um is two equal to one or two is not equal to one for even two is equal to one for odd like this and then position is equal to like this by default select to sub suggest this mode you want only uh, odd number of rows then use this one <coughs> cool so we can do this way <coughs> now suppose if we have a requirement that we want all the rows which are uh, i mean like from the third row we want all the rows like we don't want first and second row we don't want the position basically our position is greater than two right so we want all the rows after two first two rows we don't want so in this case you can use the position greater than the uh, greater than syntax like we want from after two we want all the rows so here we can say that position is greater than two here and then hit enter it will give all the rows which are after two so first two we have ignored and then we are getting all the rows so this way you can use this way you can get the uh, all the rows from a particular position another requirement could be like let's say we got all the rows here we got all the rows which uh, sorry we got all the odd rows here <coughs> now our requirement could be that because in odd rows you are getting this tr this class is equal to user action this one <coughs> okay. you are getting this user action this plane right and this plane right so this row we are getting we are getting this row we are getting this row these three we are getting now your requirement could be that get us all the rows all the odd rows which has class equal to user action or give us all the rows all the odd rows which has the class equal to plain right so here you can add the class let's say uh, we want this plain right one then you can add here at the rate class plain right and now it will give you only those odd rows which has the class plain right so one and two so which is third and fifth so this way you can add more condition and of course like xpath is a like xml query language so you can keep modifying keep adding more conditions in your query so this way you can write uh, x path for tables for particular types of row at uh, particular positions at uh, i mean uh, you can get the rows which are at particular position i hope this uh, tutorial must have helped you to learn something new please let me know if you have something any specific kind of requirement i will be more than happy to create tutorials and help you guys if you want to learn more about such concepts and uh, the deeper knowledge of x path and all do join my training here you can also take the courses or, or recording from here so this will really help you guys a lot you can always check the training because there are like a lot more concepts related to such things like shadow rom iframe etc so that all you will learn from this training or else like you can uh, if timing doesn't suit you you can take the udemy course as well with that thank you thank you so much uh, i would request you please like and share this video and let others know about such concepts this will really help you guys a lot thank you thank you so much